now. Let's see if this works now. Strange. Oh well. Oh, actually I lost that. That's terrible. Terrible. What kind of leader do they have? 6-4. That's insane. Tech 13. 13. So yeah, no more advanced tech than me, but in an insane leader. So Whoa, good. Nice. Uh, that was my hope. I restarted the software. So, you missed a couple of years, I guess. Uh, just lo lost a battle to Poland and their insane general, a 6 4. Uh, sadly. But um, I think we'll, we'll get the war won anyway because we outnumber them 4 to 1. So, yeah. I'm still hoping that the Ottomans take care of these rebels for me. That would be good. I don't really want to waste manpower. Even though I have quantity, so manpower is... Uh, is not a big issue. So Wallachia has a 5-6 general. Now that is... Uh, that's that's what you, why you get Wallachia, I guess. Also, now the Ottomans have a lot of troops there, so this should be fine. Then maybe I should just take care of these rebels myself while the Ottomans uh, sort out my other problems. There we go. And uh, yeah, back up to kill that guard general. So, let's see. Oh, they cannot actually, they will not uh, occupy, sorry, transfer this occupation to me because it's uh, not next to my territory. So I'd need to either occupy one province uh, that they could uh, transfer off of, so to say, or just like I will do, integrate this. So November 94, that's the end of this year. That's good. This should be, yeah, this should be easily taken care of. Good thing Galicia Volinia was so good converting their territory. I should have more than enough Orthodox provinces to. <laughs> well, it could be Dracula, who knows? Let's see. Where are they? Wallachia. Yeah, that's Vladut. <laughs> that's, that must be Vlad. <laughs> Vlad the Impaler. Brankoveno. Definitely Dracula. Who else? That is that is rude not rude, but it's uh, it's frightening, to be honest. Good thing he's my vassal, not my enemy. So provincial unrest is um, is up there. But yeah, nothing to do. Mm, yeah. So now this is a bit different than my Albania game that I've been playing for the last few days. I'm a bit small and vulnerable, but I think we'll manage. And also, I've got sixteen thousand troops instead of uh, two hundred and sixteen thousand troops. But I think we'll figure out how to play a small nation again. That's what I enjoy the most. Oh, this guy. Just go kill him, Otto. So now you're dead. Their, their morale is very, very good. I guess the... 10% well not really the discipline does not affect morale but 
Yeah. Army professionalism, 20%. Is that like quality or no? That must be some kind of idea they have. National idea. That is very good. So our royal marriage with the Ottomans ended. Abdul assist. Abdul Aziz. Something something. No, it would be nice to to get a. Um, well, I guess I can't. You can't get personal unions as anything else than Christian. I realized. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I if that's uh, if I'm good enough to do that. Um, gonna lose the prestige. Uh, there we go, got our provinces. The the transfer. Yeah, I could probably start out as anything and do good, but do a full world conquest, I'm not sure if I've got it in me. There is some insane amount of uh, uh, micromanagement and uh, tediousness involved, and also a big amount of patience. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it sometime. But yeah, I've done it in CK2. Uh, I've started as, as a uh, count, uh, one province count, and conquered everything. But never in EU4. Not even. Well, I could probably. I'm gonna say I could easily do it, starting as something like Austria or well, one of the big uh, nations. Or even something like semi big like Brandenburg, Hungary, anything like that. Uh, but I've never really took the time to do it. Never had the patience. Can I get access through you, by the way? Yeah, I can. Good. I should do it sometime because uh, getting the world conquest achievement is uh, something I'd aim to do. Definitely, but it's uh, I'd say it, it's I'd say it's one of the more boring achievements, even though it's uh, it's good. So that's my stance on world conquest. So can anyone explain how I can have seven viewers while um, DDR Jake is streaming? Is um, what is uh, shocking me, to be honest. If I could, dis if I if I had choice between watching me play Theodora and watching DDR Jake play uh, the Papal States, I'd probably go for the Papal States. Yeah, well, uh, of course, the time limit is the problem. Um, as soon as you snowball, there's really nothing, anything, there's really nothing that can stop you. Uh, it's just about making it, uh, making it in time. But yeah, I should have no problem doing it with uh, one of the big ones, but still, like I said, doing it from a one province minor, maybe, uh, if I really give it time and let it take time but yeah I'm not really sure so the lost crack of I should probably try to block Brandenburg let's do this just so that they do not re uh, sorry reinforce Yeah, that one is um, pretty insane. Uh, let us uh, do like that. And we should probably block 
to them as well. There we go. So things are blocked. Yeah, I did start a Ryukyu run, uh, but I lost uh, most of the recordings for that for uh, that series. So, oh, let me move this thing right here. So I decided to abandon it and maybe do it again later. And maybe I will. But yeah. It's uh, probably being made uh, significantly harder in this version of the game as well. Uh, given that the number of provinces has gone up very much. But I don't know. You do have some other things to your advantage though. Especially if you settle for a uh, uh, regular world conquest and not a one tag world conquest. There is a slight chance in difficulty. Doing a one tag world conquest is. Uh, I don't even want to know. I saw on the forum someone doing a one one uh, tag world conquest in 1.8 as Foa. That is this tiny little French vassal. Uh, that was uh, very impressive. I could only dream to achieve something like that. Yeah, uh, you need to... Look at that! Hungry. They're, uh, they're coalitioning me. Bastards. You need to pet cats while conquering the world. Uh, it's, um, it's part of the job description, I think, of uh, evil megalomaniac uh, to have a cat. That is why the description, the name of the stream is that you cannot have a stream without has hashtag cats. Uh, gaining piety or losing piety? Well, at the moment I'd... I guess I want to... If I'm going Christian again, I can, I can get uh, unions. Oh, Venice is tearing Austria apart. That is awesome. Uh, being Christian, I could get unions, and unions require high prestige. So there's that. That is a reason to to go for it. However, I could go for let's let's wait with the prestige. I'm gonna lose the piety just to get some more tech rebates, because uh, then I'd save some points getting my next admin tech. We'll get to that later though. Losing some money because we inherited a lot of troops from uh, uh, Galicia Volinia. So we're over our force limit. Also, yeah, our religious unit is 43, so we should be able to force convert ourselves. Which is nice. We just need to. We need to find someone somewhere to um, feed our. Yeah, that is what I'm doing with this uh, uh, this uh, game. That's the intention. That's why I'm expanding into Europe, and not uh, the easy way to expand with Theodora would be eastwards into uh, Arabia and India. The hard way is going into Europe, and that's what I'm doing, because uh, I want the achievement. Uh, so that is that is what I hope to achieve. But we'll see. I think I might make it, but at the moment I feel like it's a question about time. Since... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Feels like we've wasted a lot of time uh, getting this far. But we'll see. I mean, Germanic culture is... Um, it's big. There's a lot of provinces that needs to be eaten. 
there is, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. We'll see if there is a possibility of uh, getting an alliance with both the Ottomans and France. I'd say we stand a good chance to to wipe out most of Europe if we can secure that. But we'll get to that in in due time. I should keep my relations high with the Ottomans, by the way, uh, since if I'm going to convert, they will find fewer reasons to stay in the alliance. But I'm thinking if I I want diplo rep. That will help me. These guys should probably be about what's over my force limit, so I'm gonna kill those. And we'll see that I am well in well inside. I just need to kill one. But yeah. If I convert, they might find fewer reasons to stay in the alliance. Uh, but if my if I keep my relations high with them, I might be fine. We'll see. Also, if I try to keep, <laughs> yeah, but Ryukyu world conquest is definitely harder. Uh, Theodoro achievement is uh, only because it's a new achievement, I'd say. But yeah, who are, who are your rivals? Russia, Spain, and France. No, well they are, but in another order. So, me thinking I'd secure an alliance with France, Russia, and the Ottomans might be hard, but not impossible. Uh, call for peace, I don't like that. So, what do we, what do we take and where do we, Shove it. Well, we. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. I can give that to Wallachia. <clears throat> Actually, it was, it was Orthodox, so I should have taken it myself. Well, you live and you learn. Oh, that messed up my throat. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Catholic. Well, if I take Lithuania. I could release Lithuania. That would uh, take a lot of my provinces, though, so I don't want that. Anyone else having chorus over here? Who is that? Who's that? Mansovia? Is that something I can steal and release? That would be nice. Something like this. Except Polish culture. Oh, that would be so good. So we'll take that. And that. And also, I probably want to take that, but I can't. Well, what if I left Plock? God damn it. Well, so Vilna is seven base tax, that explains it. Uh, hmm. So, where do I go with that information? Well, I want. I want to have, what if I straight out vassalize Lithuania? I could do that. It would still cost a lot, of course. It's, they would cost the same. So if I'd leave, yeah. If I leave Moldavia, it will work. So, but yeah, I've got room for more, I guess. They'd hate me though. They already hate me a lot and they would hate me even more. 
I find outright vassalize them. So I don't I do not really want Lithuania to exist. Well they can exist for now, that's fine, but you know what they can exist for now. I'm gonna ignore Lithuania. Let's clear that offer. I want that. Or do I? Do I want this as my holy war? Sorry. Well, they wouldn't be Holy War uh, eligible when I convert. They'd be the same religion religion as me, Orthodox. So I couldn't use the ECB. So I'd... Old Alliance reversed, yeah. Nah, exactly. Uh, so... Do I leave Lithuania for now? Is it is it a good thing to do? I guess I could take just Vizna if I'm gonna release it as my vassal. That is uh That is reasonable, isn't it? I could still release it, I hope. I think. We have one province vassal that I couldn't really get to. But it would be good to feed Poland into it. Uh, so I guess. Something like that. I guess I couldn't core. The, can, I, can I declare war on Grenoble? I can. If I cancel military act, cancel military access, I want to get uh, consistent borders here. Um, let's see. Now this is going to be Denmark. Denmark might join the coalition. Who else? No one really. Well, maybe Denmark. And if I'm gonna take Polotsk, that's gonna increase. Well, there's really no choice in this. So let us, let us get some money out of this. Or do I get, this is against Poland. Poland still has a lot of base tax, so I could take war reparations and pluck, no I couldn't well then I'll not take war reparations then I'll actually take the money that was too exact to not take it I guess return course to Denmark, no Aligned with the Lithuania, that's fine. So, that is my piece. Let's see what happens when we do that. Create Mazovia. Also, we need to declare war on them because we cannot get to our provinces. And, yeah, now let's see. We've got some problems on our hands. Uh, who do we rival, first of all? And who we try, do we try, and who do we try to make love us? I don't know. Should worry about Russia. October 10 is a good date because that's the date when we can attack Polotsk. Like that. And let's hope that 
uh, fully annexing, annexing them will not make uh, Russia pissed off. Because that would suck. Also, we should start so should start looking at uh, ways to provoke rebels. So, so Kazian nationalists. What's your provinces? All of those. Can I adjust your? I could increase their autonomy. But yeah, as soon as this flips, that should be fine. So we'll live with it for now. And hopefully it will work out over time. We'll see. I need to will not get that not yet. Oh these guys got stuck. That sucks. Maybe I can get axe no. No access for me. So we've got eight thousand troops stuck in uh, crap territory. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Let me just get to... Well, I can't really see... I can see Asia. So, what do we have? Let's start off with Europe. Uh, we got big Austria. Uh, big Milan. So, the... Seems like the... At least the southern parts of the HRE are being blobbed by Venice, Milan and Austria. Uh, Switzerland, all the Italian states is basically getting eaten up. How about Spain? Do you have... No, it looks like... Yeah, Naples is... Uh, independent. What else? Big Hansa. Uh, also big Denmark, but not in Denmark. And... Not that big Sweden, but almost about to be... Soon about to be very much bigger when they take Norway. Scotland is relevant. Uh, still have their native territories. Did they actually take these from? Sorry, take these from England. I'm not sure who has them from the beginning. Uh, the usual colonization. Nothing new there. Songhai. Don't know. This feels like the game with, like a game with a lot of blobs. Shanghai is really big. I guess the provinces here is big, so that makes it look bigger than they are. The Ottomans, bigger than usual, I'd say. Kilwa, about as big as usual as, as they usually get. Uh, anything else? Well, India is now basically Bamanis and Jompur. And Gujarat, so there are three state uh, continent subcontinent. Now this this I've never seen. Uh, Tibet getting it up eaten up by Jompur. That's usually Oirat territory. And yeah, this is uh, about fifty fifty Bamanis or Vijayanagar from game to game. Ayutthaya blobbing as well. And Ming, well Ming is Ming. But yeah, feels like there's a few very big blobs. That usually does not happen. But I don't know, I might be wrong. Spain is expanding into Northern Africa as well. Interesting. And there's no Commonwealth, because Poland and Lithuania will be mine. And yeah, Scots are doing well. Exceedingly well. So we lost our general, I guess. I wonder why. One four. Let's uh, see if that's good enough. Three one. What's your tech level like? Same as mine. So might work, might not. We'll see. They actually let us have it. That's good. Also, can you please give me access? They're outraged. Of course they won't. So rebels. Well, I need to. We need to look at, first of all, somewhere around here, where we can get minus 6% uh, 
unrest from different different things. Unless we can actually get religious rebels in and of itself. Well, it seems like no place fits that description. Well, I guess anything that has four would be possible. So if I could get this down just a little bit, 1.7 more, something like a... No, of course not. No such luck. Uh, we have a lot of war exhaustion, so that is something we can do. So that is actually exactly what we needed. Now look at this. We've got uh, a little I'll try to demonstra demonstrate Immer immersion nationalists here. So we're going to increase autonomy. That will increase the unrest to decrease the unrest to minus six point sixteen. We will send in a missionary that will put it at minus zero point sixteen. And at the turn of the month, this will switch to religious rebels because it's at zero and we have a missionary here. The missionary adds a factor of 2,000 uh, likelihood of uh, uh, being the, the m rebel. It's actually not a likelihood, it just picks, picks the one with the highest factor. And the factors are the base value times different uh, things, like different likelihood increases, like if... Uh, if there's different uh, foreign cores, uh, then Patriot rebels are likelier because they multiply the factor by like two or something. And an active, uh, an active missionary multiplies the factor by two thousand. So, if there is a missionary there and the unrest is at zero percent, it can switch to uh, religious, and it will do so every single time like that so now we've got orthodox zealots and now we just need to increase our unrest by well up to one I guess to get the faction spawning and then we can accept their demands we should be able to since they are since they are the uh, uh, largest faith might have to make them take my capital but we'll get to that Uh, so that was less of religious unity than 100% yard. I'd say we have that. So that was where? Where did we get it? We need to Abkhazia. So Abkhazia is our place to be. Need to make sure that the missionary doesn't actually make it in in time. Need to remember that. Uh, so got a lot of rebels now, but yeah. Uh, yeah, there is, uh, but not before the seventeen hundreds. Basically, uh, getting uh, revolutionary rebels, uh, that is, uh, is uh, the two biggest factors are time. And if the date is before, six, sorry, if the date is past 1600, there is an added factor. And if it's past 1700, it's another factor. And basically, uh, what it comes down to is that you will never get, you will never have the uh, possibility of getting repub sorry revolutionary rebels over regular peasant rebels. Uh, I'd get in Theodoro. Uh, Theodorian peasant peasants in this case would always have a ha higher factor than revolutionary rebels. Uh, until after the 1700s, when there are certain possibilities to to increase the revolutionaries' 
higher than the peasants but before that it's not possible so sadly I'd love it uh, if that was the case because that, uh, then I could go uh, Republic again but I can't there is uh, two ways at the moment and that is uh, uh, religious ideas and aristocratic ideas there are two events uh, that are tied to Republican aristocratic one for each that will spawn uh, revolutionary rebels the first one uh, was the religious ideas that and that was the one I got that turned me into a republic so full annex Russia will probably hate me not really minus five that is uh, negligible thank you that should increase my overextension and thus my revolt risk as well and that means we've got orthodox zealots and I can accept their demands and orthodox becomes the new state religion of Theodoro look at that we are orthodox again and we're still allied to the Ottomans and they love us well minus 96 so let's, uh, let's see if we can't get that up was not given occupied cores and claims in the peace god damn it sorry Ottomans should have thought about that but still uh, I'm gonna try to get that up as oh above 100 as fast as possible because I do not want it to to go down but how can I do that Uh, no, that was revolutionary rebels that uh, uh, flipped me into a republic, but they were spawned from an event and not uh, from a province. So, we are actually not allied? Well, ally me then, Ottomans. Um, yeah. I'm going to start improving the relations with... Uh, Russia, then I can marry them. I could probably royally marry someone important right now. If I'm lucky. Well, maybe not. So yeah, that was the uh, the event. It's called Liberal Backlash, I think. Uh, let's see. Random occur occurrence. Every five year, an event will fire uh, that is linked to one of your idea groups. It can be good, it can be bad. There are several for each idea group. One of them is Liberal Backlash, where we have a choice. Uh, it's a two-choice event, I think. I can't remember the other choice, but the one of the choices are that you spawn like nine uh, revolutionary rebels in your capital, I think, or a random province. And that basically makes... Uh, uh, makes it possible to turn into a republic early but it's very random uh, let's see so we are orthodox again and now we need to start converting our provinces but we have actually higher religious unity than we had before so that's good and probably higher tolerance as well so I think we're fine maybe not we'll see so maybe there is something like uh, like this over here that we can do. Well, that would... Heretics. Well, heretics are Catholics. So, right now that would be a good idea. In the future, though, that might be a bad idea. I don't know. Well, these two would... Would actually... Well, active uniformity. We'll pick that. Uh... So there's two of them that increases our missionary strength. I could get both. That would speed up the conversion. It would uh, make my Catholic provinces or Protestant reformed uh, less friendly. But uh, then I could take humanist ideas to to offset that. So that, there's that. Yeah, let's do that. Missionary strength, 
I'll actually get that as well. Uh, and that. And then I'd... Yeah, let's get that too, to offset the other one. So basically I lost some tax in order to get... Uh, we can do that. And we can do this. Get started on coring those. Get our, try to get our revolt risk down. So, let's see, rivals, we still have a rival to pick, who is that? Well, the Golden Horde, I guess, we would have uh, Holy War CB against them now, which is good. Anything else, uh, Gazakamook, they've got provinces that we could take. Uh, Denmark. Well, I am going to have to fight Denmark sooner or later, so I might as well pick them, to be honest. Because they have ter uh, provinces with uh, Germanic culture right now, and I ne need those. So we're gonna pick Denmark as our rival. Maybe we should look at this. Oiratming Ottomans. We can't pick any of those. Austria, Ottomans, Spain. We could pick Austria. How about Sweden? Sweden rivaled Denmark, but they rivaled us as well, so we can't really ally them. Austria rivaled France, Spain, and Russia. I'd love to to get Russia as my ally, but it's, uh, it's gonna be hard. Random, well, Germany. Can't really do anything about that, can we? So France, you're rivaling Austria. So I guess I'll rival Austria as well. Because the chances... Well, there are chances of me getting... I don't know. Well, I'm gonna fight Denmark sooner. Let's see, who are your allies? You're allied to Austria, that's not good. Uh... But yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to fight Denmark sooner than Austria. So I'm going to go for that. That would pr will probably lock my troops in, in Vizna forever, but still. Well, they'll, they'll be locked there until they go to war with Denmark, so. Uh, yeah, that's prob that's pretty much it. Uh, aggressive expansion is the sole reason I think to get a target and get targeted by uh, a coalition. As you can see, the only member of my coalition is Hungary. I got minus one hundred and ten aggressive expansion with them. Uh, Poland would join, but they can't because they, we have a truce. Uh, Denmark will join soon. Uh, because they are at minus 47. Basically, if they go uh, above 50, they're pr pretty much guaranteed to join the coalition. Not really, but somewhere around there, they start uh, highly considering it. Especially if they're your neighbor. There are things around it that have worked before, at least. I don't know if they work still, but there's something called vassal shelling where you cannot be uh, targeted by a coalition by someone, well, anyone, the, the first person to start the coalition, to, to uh, actually set it off, like Hungary did in, in my case, needs to be neighboring you, either by land or by sea. Uh, and not neighbor exactly, but have a sea route to you. So Naples would be able to start the coalition. Or Ottomans, Wallachia, Gazikamuk, Raja. Uh, and if you make sure that you only, your only possible, or your, basically your only rivals, not your rivals, your only neighbors are your vassals. And possibly your allies. Uh, but preferably your vassals, then no one could start a coalition against you, technically. I don't know if they fixed that, that was a long time ago. 
I've never really used it, so I don't know. But yeah, the the easiest way to get around coalitions nowadays is either to expand in several uh, culture slash religious groups, uh, and just make sure that you're expanding in equal places uh, at the same time, or to just juggle timers or call coalition members in separately. Say, uh, say Hungary, Poland, and Denmark were in a coalition against me now. I could look at hung look at Hungary's uh, uh, allies. Okay, they are allied to France. That's not good. But if I take Poland, uh, then I could attack the Hansa and call Poland as a co-belligerent. I'd be able to take territory out of Poland just as if I'd attacked them. Uh, but if they are called as a co-belligerent they will not trigger the coalition. Same as with Denmark, if I attack Norway and call Denmark as co-belligerent, co they wouldn't uh, be able to call the rest of the coalition. I'd only fight Denmark, Norway, Austria, uh, yeah, well, England and Russia. So it wouldn't be that good, but at least it wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, you can find these tiny, uh, tiny allies. Well, kind of like Lithuania was to Poland where you find a tiny ally to someone in the coalition you attack that tiny ally and call the uh, original coalition member and you separate them that way and make sure that you get different truce timers with everyone uh, so that the coalition will always be small and if it big it gets st it's starting to get too big just trigger it attack it and make sure that uh, uh, to keep it down because when you have a truce with someone they can't be in a coalition against you and they thus they will not be able to join as long as you have a truce with them uh, so that's what you can do also if the if you notice the uh, coalition members uh, fighting against each other each other that's also a good time to to actually trigger a coalition because uh, only the Part that is not fighting the one you attack can join. So say, say Hungary and Poland were fighting Denmark. If I attack Denmark, they couldn't join me because uh, they couldn't join against me because they're actually fighting Denmark. So they can't be fighting and uh, being in the same side of a war. So that's a little lesson on coalitions. Long story short, they are manageable, but yeah, uh, they only they are only uh, started because of aggressive expansion. Uh, let's see, where was I? I think I was. Uh, oh, so many rebel factions, but Circassian nationalists seem to be on the decline. That's good. So what's on the rice? Sapo, Saporosian as usual. Well, we need to. Well, do we really need to wait this up? Or could we go to war? Norway wouldn't join. Austria would join, though. How about Austria? What are you like, Austria? I need to, to look at this. A 39,000. And the Ottomans? Counting in on... A big 84,000. So... Having the Ottomans fight Austria... Might be a good idea at the moment. Austria probably is low because of... the. Yeah, they have a force limit of 75, but they have no manpower. So this would be the optimal... This would be the optimal time to strike Denmark. Well, might be better... I might get a better opportunity in the future, but probably not. They're already fighting Sweden, Scotland and the Hansa. And their only ally, uh, Austria, normally wouldn't join. Uh, they can join later, but highly unlikely because they will be called and the alliance will be broken and they'd have to actually 
re-ally uh, Norway for them to call Norway again. Uh, anyway, Austria will... They have no manpower and they have 39,000 troops, so the Ottomans would probably eat them. And Denmark on their own have how many troops? 15,000, and that's less than me. So, with that, uh, without further ado, look at that. Target the coalition of Sweden and Poland. Poland is not fighting, so if we do this. Perfect. And now this is uh, this is another lesson on coalitions. Uh, and you're welcome. Uh, I love uh, uh, explaining things. I'm actually uh, at the moment starting to become a teacher. So that is what I hope to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> now, coalitions can work in your favor as well. This is something I actually learned uh, today from DDR Jake. Uh, watching his stream just a few a few hours ago now I knew this already but when you get uh, three members in a coalition and you neighbor the coalition you get ACB you should get it I think I think that's it I might be wrong but we'll see when the month takes if we get the uh, coalition Casus Belli let's hope so I guess not I guess it's uh, I guess it's been changed then Oh well, maybe it's four members or something. But you get a coalition CB. Maybe it's only the 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 one that starts the coalition. That might be it. But basically, with the coalition CB, you let's see who could have stopped this. Sweden maybe. They're already fighting, so that might be why. Conquest, reconquest. Um, Poland has. Conquest re coalition, yeah, there it is. So Poland has the coalition Casus Belli on Denmark. Now, the coalition Casus Belli is excellent uh, for stealing things without aggressive expansion because uh, basically it's a CB that that is meant to punish people aggressively, aggressively expanding, and thus it does not really have high aggressive expansion percentages. So. Basically, if you compare, well, Kalinsingham Heresy has 75% aggressive expansion. I think the Coalition has like 25% aggressive expansion or something like that. So it's very easy to to take territory without uh, without people getting pissed off. And in this case, I could just steal that CB. Well, apparently I couldn't. I wanted to get it, but I guess I didn't get it for some reason. I was thinking that all of the people in the coalition would get it, would get it but it seems that Poland is the only one, and that would mean that the coalition leader is the one to get it. I'm gonna wait till the new year just to be sure, but I guess I guess not. So I'm gonna go for the cleansing of heresy. Let's just check Austria once more, just in case. Austria 41,000, so they're actually building up again. But they are fighting Sweden, Scotland, and the Hansa, so let's do this. Let's bring the Ottomans down up in Europe. Do you have any other allies, by the way? You do, you have lots of allies. Denmark, Poland, Münster, Thuringia, Würzburg, Siena. Now, here's something I could do. I think I could do this. If I were to. These are. Well, Siena is not that tiny. Würzburg is probably tiny. What I'm what I'm getting at here is I could call Austria as a co-belligerent. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I would think I was thinking they would call Poland, but Poland will be in the war on my side, so they will just have to break the alliance anyway. So yeah, this is. This is definitely the time to do that. So yeah, let us uh, let us get this because uh, this is Germanic culture, and as such, it needs to be mine. All of it needs to get inside my borders. 
it needs to be inside my borders now, soon. But yeah, would have been nice to get the Coalition CB, but I guess not. I guess not. So we have a very high... Oh, that's... Uh, I'm pointing at my screen as if I... As if you could see what I'm pointing at, but yeah, Trakai, Vilna, and Grenoble is probably. Why are you so high? Is it? No, it's not. So why? What's wrong with uh, Grenoble? That's. I know that. That's here. That's these three. Oh, that's because they're not cored yet. So. Also, very high nationalism. But yeah, I guess I should. I should definitely try to go for uh, humanist ideas next, because humanist ideas are the bomb when it comes to managing uh, revolt and pretty much anything. Lithuania nationalist seventy percent. Oh, look at that. Free last third stability. I, I'll take that happily. Won the siege of uh, place one. What uh, uh, uh Has your culture, sp culture spread, by the way? No. My culture. Uh, where is it? Theodoro. It's only one province. And that's how it's going to stay. A Gothic culture. Uh, and yeah, it's in the Greek culture group. Basically, I'm not one for uh, spreading culture. Culture doesn't spread on its own. There are some, some um, exceptionally rare events that can spread your culture. But I'm not one to spread my culture manually because I don't think it's worth it. As long as you get the the culture accepted, then uh, you don't really gain much from getting uh, from converting it. So I don't know. That's my reasoning, at least, for ignoring it. So purge of danger. Oh yeah, I need to win battles. So let's hope we do. Also, now there's this. Sweden has disputed succession. No. Genoa, Burgundy, Bavaria. Bavaria is someone we want to marry then. Minus 33, so that's not going to happen. Well, Russia, I'll marry you. Definitely. And uh, we'll hope to get an alliance with them eventually. But we'll, we'll get to that. So, well... Shouldn't stare blindly at this this list though, because everyone gets a disputed succession eventually. But yeah, we can just check if there's anyone here that would accept a royal marriage. There was one. Switzerland, was it? Yeah. They have no heir. But they're 20 years old, so I don't know. Also, Switzerland is not that big. So, yeah, let's ignore that for now. Oh, look at that. Austrian troops moving in. Now, let's, let's hope that uh, Ottomans take, the Ottomans take care of it. That would be good. I don't want to handle Austrian troops. Austrian troops are known to carry nasty uh, germs so I guess you're not helping me uh, 